Welcome, Terrifics, to CES Asia here in Shanghai. I'm Michael Artsis. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special at Be Terrific TV on all social media. We're here at the uh, the hall here. It's called N1. This is the first hall, and we found Journey. Uh, this gentleman's the CEO of Journey. Journey Technologies. You've got a prototype new product. It's kind of I guess in my mind, it seems like the next evolution of what Google Glass was trying to be. Yeah. How do you see it, and where do you position it? Um, I think the, the AR, AR uh, industry is, is a long, uh, have, have a long, I, I think uh, three or five years, yes. But all our is focused on optical solutions of the uh, AR glasses, yes. So we are uh, focused on uh, to develop more see-through, more uh, uh, more wider FOV and more um, resolution, yes, better resolution of the next generation of the uh, glasses. But but in actually in 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 the world, uh, Hololens and uh, Microsoft, you know, everyone knows also the. Uh, the rumors, Vulex, uh, we are uh, actually we are in, in, on the same same level of them, yes, uh, on the opticals. But uh, actually, for the, for the hardware parts, I think we we are now uh, maybe use some other uh, hardware companies solutions like Intel and and others, yes. So I think we have some cool technology, yes, of this area and have competitions in in the in, in, on the world, world level as a big big companies in the world, yes. So this is your your prototype, your first version. Yeah. Uh, I put it on; it was very impressive. Yeah. Uh, you gave me a demo of it, um, and I can see it's the future yeah. um, of you know. I can see what the future holds. It's it's very uh, very exciting. How long till this is a product that you have that you're satisfied with, and it's on the market? Uh, I think uh, for the for the industry uh, uh, applications for for the uh, mechanical for the uh, 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 mm, for the for the cars, for the for the airplane, yes, it's our first application area. I think the next year, yes, will be uh, ready this product. And for the consumer market, I think about three years. I think, yeah. Uh, very nice. That's exciting because there's a lot of technology packed into that, yeah. and uh, for a year to for it to be ready for corporate and corporate applications and yeah. professional applications, and then for three years to be ready for the consumer market, I think yeah. is great. Um, and it is exciting. It, it seems like what I've seen from HoloLens um, that you talk about from Microsoft in a smaller, lighter package uh, that might work kind of with all sorts of, you know, different products, uh, whether it be iPhones or Android. Yeah. Um, how did you start the company? Uh, I, I think um, our focus, our, our, our goal is to develop the AR glasses for the, actually for the some non people. For the for for the people can, for the technology can more adapt to the people for realize the humanity. We can wear glass everywhere. Yes. So, so actually, um, for this goals, I, I start this. Yes, and I, I want to the air glass is more humanity to the people. Yes, and, and everyone can feel very co cozy, very comfortable to wear it, and and do not seems like strange in the in in, in, in other people's. Yes. Uh, just a gear, geek wear them, yes. So you don't want just geek wear, you want everybody to wear yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think you got the starting, the makings of that. It's very exciting. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. I really yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. I'm Michael Artsis. You're the Terrific. Stay with us. We got a lot more coming at you from CES Asia here in Shanghai, China. Don't go anywhere.